Hey, welcome back, podcast fans. Welcome back to Stories from the River. This is your host, Charlie Maloof, and we are in our behind the scenes series following our town hall, third quarter town hall. And I am here with our leaders from our customer experience department to return guests to the pod. Wes Dudley, our vice president, and Anita Harris, our director of customer experience. Welcome back, Thank Anita. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. And Wes. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Excited to be here. It's so excited to have you guys here. Welcome to Stories from the River, a show in which we go behind the scenes at Broad River Retail. So we just had our third quarter town hall. Mm-hmm. Wes, you drove in super early to get to avoid the weather. <laughs> avoid as you lean. Yes. What time did you arrive at your office today? Uh, five after five. Five Ooh. after five. It takes you, what, 30 minutes, an hour to get here? About an hour. Wow. So you, you left early. So you've been up a little, so we so appreciate you doing that <laughs> and uh, keeping, keeping the lights on for us here. So we had some exciting updates today, and one of the ones where we it's we have customer service week coming up mm-hmm. next month, which we love that. And so one, and you had some exciting updates from the sh- customer experience department. So Wes, what did, what were some of the things you shared today? Absolutely. Uh, some of the things I shared. One, I give a little bit of the statistics of how well our team is doing. You know, the the team takes about 5,000 contacts a week between phones and texts. It's a lot. It's Mm -hmm. a lot of calls coming in. um, And we're answering those calls in 15 seconds, average. That's super impressive. So, yeah. I mean, industry standard, everybody wants to get to 30 seconds, and we're we're half that. So, very excited. Um, In addition to that, we are running a uh, 98% quality score, which means that when you think about the calls that are coming in and how um, they're meeting their goals of that call, so the the things that we've had in place to make sure that they're meeting what's in the knowledge base and the expectations, mm-hmm. as well as how quickly they're getting through the call, taking care of our guests is really important. Uh, and then the the other little KPI that I was really excited about to share this morning was our customer effort score. So with that, that's fairly new for us, about a year and a half mm-hmm. old. Yeah. Um, and with that, we're taking 98% of the effort off the customer. That's amazing. So, yeah. Th- it's so exciting to share those <laughs> updates. I know everyone across the organization loves hearing them and hearing how well that we're doing. And, and I think you just got a, like almost a big award, right? Yeah. At, CC, <laughs> at CCW. <laughs> oh, so close. Wait, can you see, talk yeah. about that for a second. Yeah. So um, the, the contact centers there is contact centers that are over 100 people, under 100 people. Uh, for awards, and we were best in class runner up, so number two in the U.S. for those over a hundred people. That's so fantastic! Very, very excited to get that award. Of course, that's not good enough for us. We, we want to number win one. It, win it this <laughs> next year, uh, but very, very happy that we got mm-hmm. to celebrate being number two in the U.S. That's congratulations, thank thank you. and to the whole team. That's fantastic. We really appreciate that, and thanks for those updates. Now, customer service mm-hmm. week, Anita. <laughs> This thing comes alive, doesn't it? It does. We have a ball, a world. We have so much fun the whole week. I mean, the goal is to really show our team how much we appreciate them because we know they work hard. I mean, every day you're dealing with someone who may not have had the great best experience, but their jobs are turning around and they're doing it. So customer service week is exciting for us just so that we can show them how much we love them and appreciate the work that they do. And I know Wes has like the background of how customer service started. Yeah, I'll share that. Mm -hmm. Um, It started in 1987. And with that, uh, took hold very, very quickly. 1992, the Congress, National Congress, actually made it a National Customer Service Week, the first full week of October every year. With that, it's something that the entire industry celebrates. But with it, also, there becomes a theme every year. Mm -hmm. Uh, we were kind of excited to tag onto this theme this year, above above and beyond. Mm. So with that, uh, you know, our team, with the metrics that they're sharing, definitely doing above and beyond every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, also very excited to when we we look at the the opportunity ahead of us. You know, um, I've always said in my past that no one calls a call center just to say you're doing a great job. <laughs> It's always a complaint or yeah, the, 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 you, you, you don't get those type of calls? <laughs> well, this team has proved me wrong okay. because they do call. And we have a kudos channel, mm-hmm. and that kudos channel is flooded daily wow. with kudos from customers thanking us for saving them as a customer, taking care of what they want, and the amount of return guests that we're seeing is just unbelievable with that. 
But when you talk about our our identity, um, the the CX All Stars, mm -hmm. you know, customer experience All Stars, this team truly is All Stars. Yeah, you know they're taking it. We have the best of the best every single day here at Broad River Retail, and just very excited to continue leading one of the best teams I've ever led. That's fantastic. So d d your team is almost fully remote. Maybe your supervisors or leaders come into the office, but the agents themselves mm -hmm. are fully remote, right? Yes, they are. And are they 100%? Like, how do they do town halls or engage? Are they getting off the calls or you, do you alternate them? Do they listen to it on demand? How, do they, how does your team engage with town halls? So they join the town hall calls or they listen to the recordings because they want to stay engaged. Our team loves Broad River Retail and we're so happy about that because um, it just makes them want to come in and do a great job every day and our um, KPIs show that. So Engaged, let me just play off of that one. Mm -hmm. We talked about some of our engagement survey feedback mm -hmm. and that was part of the town hall. Yes. And I know if you're going to listen to it or debrief with your leaders on Monday, mm -hmm. they've got some exciting new updates yes. too, right? Yes, I know. We kind of um, told our team to make sure they're joining the call because we knew there was going to be some um, exciting news. And I think our team will be so excited. Um, the wellness days, the change in the PTO, um, all of those things benefit our, our, our team. So we're excited about it. And I know they are super excited about it too. Probably yeah. more BRR babies, you know? Yeah. Yes. Maybe, so. yeah. Yeah, no, <laughs> it could be a case. Uh, parental leave. Yes. yes. That, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to customer service. Week. Mm -hmm. Are we celebrating it the same time that they are nationally this year? Or are we alternating our dates? No, we're um, celebrating the same time. So the Actually, one day extra, though. Okay. So October 7th to the 11th is, are the actual dates of Customer Service Week. We're going to take it to that 14th because we're going to drive to Fort Oaks to see our team up there because they'll come on site um, and we'll get to enjoy them face to face and have some good fun and times there. And there are going to be some days that they're actually everyone's here, right? Mm -hmm. So what are the days that we're in Fort Mill? What are the days that we're in Fort Oaks? We're in Fort Mill October 8th and October 10th. Um, and we're in Fort, Fort Oaks on October 14th. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen during Customer Service Week at the River? Well, we have a week planned out. Every day is something. Mm -hmm. And thanks to our team um, in Chantia, Mathis, Detavia Crum, and Taylor Pendleton, who are leading um, the customer service activities this week. So... <laughs> Every day we'll have some type of fun contest. They have some things planned online, of course, because our team's at home. When they actually come into the office, we're gonna have some good food, play a little music, have some crazy games. Um, I was reminding Wes last year, we had a game where we actually blindfold. Me and Samantha went up against each other and we had to try to pick up um, cotton balls with a ladle. <laughs> so it was lots of fun. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. I'm sure there'll be surprises and giveaways as well. Lots of prizes. You guys are yes. Give up that. Well, it's great to celebrate our people. It's great yeah. for uh, to. I don't know if this episode will air prior to Customer Service right. Week, but it's great to take a week, and we, we probably should take more than a week. But it's great to at least take one week and dedicate to our, our excellent premier contact center agents and customer service team. We our customer experience team is really how we refer to it. Uh, it Wes, anything else with regards to kind of what you shared on the town hall, or anything else from today? No, I just think one, the, the amount of benefits that we had coming up on the town hall is going to be really, really mm -hmm. um, impressive to the team. We have not shared those with them yet, so excited yeah. to share that. Um, and just having them on site. You know, we bring them on site mm -hmm. quarterly, and it's always a good time. Um, but I think it just motivates the team to continue to do more. Yeah, I love having them on site. Are you guys going to do the whole decorations for, for the office here? They have some decorations. I haven't seen everything, but the uh, team, I just saw some banners and I go, no, they have balloons and all those things. So do you remember the first time we had Customer Service Week? Was it Game of Thrones? No, that was not. The first time we ever had it was when we were at our other location and we had orange and blue and purple streamers all over the, <laughs> the ceiling. It was a great time. That's, that's, that was the beginning. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Like 10, 11 years ago. So yes. We've, mm -hmm. done it, we've done it for several years and it's always a festive time, yes. a feel good time, and a great time to celebrate our people. And mm -hmm. We have you guys on the town hall. Any final words, Anita, for the town hall or mm -hmm. just CX updates? Well, first of all, I'm thankful that we have the town halls because like I said, it keeps our team engaged. Um, and I'm thankful that you know, we work in a company where we can celebrate and have fun and have um, a great opportunity to live our best life. So. That's awesome. You know, from you know, one of the things we talked about in the town hall was the updates on retention rate and turnover rate, retention rate over 80 percent, turnover rate below 30 mm -hmm. percent. 
And I, I don't know exactly where your numbers are. Last I got with Chrissy, we were at 24%. On turnover. On turnover. That's incredible. It's That's amazing, Charlie. In the industry, yes. mm -hmm. Tell that to CCW. Give you the award right now. <laughs> and so we got talented, experienced people who love to work here and stay here. And uh, and then we get to be celebrated. And mm -hmm. did hear the other company update. So thank you guys so much for coming here mm -hmm. behind the scenes. <laughs> love it. Following the town hall. Thanks for driving in super early and uh, braving the hurricane. Hey, that's our behind the scenes series from our company wide town halls with Wes Dudley and Anita Harris, two return guests here on the podcast. Thanks so much for joining us. And we try to bring you fresh new content every Tuesday and Thursday here at the river. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Stories from the River. To check out more episodes, visit storiesfromtheriver.com. Join us again next week, and remember to like, rate, and subscribe to the podcast.